Well hello everybody and a very big welcome back to another Minecraft video. We've got a special one today guys, I spent a lot of hours building this, a lot more than I first planned to, but today we've got an awesome castle survival base time lapse. That's right, our castle survival base is going to have everything you need to live comfortably in survival Minecraft. A little farm, a nether portal, a storage room and much much more, as well as being safe from all of those horrible nasty pillagers and creepers on the outside. We're going to have a traditional medieval theme and we're going to do some interiors as well so as I just finish off planning out this build I just want to say a massive massive thank you to everyone for watching this channel is growing fast and it wouldn't be happening without all of you wonderful people so press that subscribe button and like button if you actually do like the, the video if you don't like the video be honest all feedback is good feedback but continue that support and without me mumbling on anymore sit back Grab a cup of tea and enjoy the time lapse and I'll see you at the end for a little tour.
and there we have it everyone one castle survival base complete i've added a few little extra details off camera but i'll go around and show you all of that stuff so don't worry so if you go through our main front gate here of our flowery path straight away you'll see to the left our lovely little stable and our all important nether portal in the corner and as you can see we've got a nice open courtyard right in the middle of our protective medieval style walls all around the base I first didn't intend for this to be this big and it took a lot longer than I planned but I think it was worth the effort. We've got a beautiful little cottage style building on the right there using a bit of diorite and white concrete to create that bottom section and then next to what could be a blacksmith's house is our blacksmith's working area where you can repair your tools or smelt all of your ores and next to that we've got ourselves a lovely little vegetable patch with some lovely little carrots and beetroots to get you on your way along your survival adventure. Now, if we go inside of our main keep building, at the back left corner you can see that we have a grand staircase in the entrance and our storage room with plenty of chests just next to it. Then, over the hallway, we have another little cottage, which I haven't done a lot to really, but you could use this to house villagers or anything else that you can think of. Then, if we go a little bit further up our staircase, it's a little bit tight but it works, we can enter the main master bedroom. This is the room that I'm going to be shotgunning. <laughs> we, uh, we've got a bit of storage in there, we've got an armour stand and a huge triple bed for you to rest after you've worked hard building a huge castle survival base like this one. Then in the very top of the castle keep we have our enchantment room. I haven't done an awful lot in here, there's lots more stuff I could do here but the basics are there to get you started with all of your enchantment needs. Then over in our back right hand tower we have ourselves a little brewing station to make all those lotions and potions. Then if we return down from our portions tower into our blacksmith's cottage you can see that there's a few furnaces, crafting tables, a few bits and bobs, extra storage and of course a ladder up into the corner tower which we have on every tower in the base. And there we have it guys, our castle survival base complete. You could have done with a bit more interior work so if you have any interior tips let me know and I'll do it on future builds. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know down below what you think. If you want to see more hit that subscribe button, drop the video a like, you're all amazing and until next time guys, tatty bye. <music>